Hey there, how's it going friends? Welcome back, howdy doody. Anyway, so uh, we're gonna need a couple things today. Obviously you're seeing this beautiful bright and shining face who is so excited to be here by the way. Um, so you're obviously going to need your water and you're going to need your snack and you're going to need to hold on to your butts right now because I don't know if you remember a couple weeks ago I tried out some new derma blends foundation that I needed because I broke my other one So they actually reached out to me and asked me if they could send me something and it just came in the mail the other day and Derma blend sent me body foundation I'm so excited. So let's take a look it does say that you can use it as a tint and you could also use it to completely cover anything from like tattoos to stretch marks to hyperpigmentation, whatever makes sense for you. Um, it comes with, we've got the leg and body makeup. This is a buildable liquid body foundation, the quick fix body on the go coverage, which is that little stick over there, and then a whole container of their banana powder. So I'm super excited to put this to use today. This will not be going on my face because again, it's body foundation. So I don't wanna, I'm not sure if it's gonna be too heavy to be on my face. And if you can't tell, I have very sensitive skin. Anyway, we are going to get moving. We're gonna get this base on and then we're gonna come back and see what is going on. All right, I'll see you soon. Bye. Okay, so we are beautiful. We look great. And I really love this base. I know it doesn't look any different than it normally does. I'm fully aware. However, I still love it. And we're gonna try this Derma Blend stuff now. So let's dig in. This is the leg and body makeup. This is supposed to be sheer to full, buildable coverage, all day hydration with SPF 25. So that's always an added bonus. High performance pigments, up to 16 hours of wear when set with a setting powder. This is really pigmented my little bottle right here. So we're going to try over this specifically. Um, I also didn't tell them what my skin tone is. So we'll see how this shade matches. So far it feels nice and light. Okay, so so far a pretty good shade match. That looks really good. That's one coat with the with a beauty blender. And then let's do down here with a brush. Okay, that's one coat. It did say sheer to full coverage, so let's try another layer. I think I just like using the brush more. So I'm gonna just do that. Second coat. Okay. I mean, not bad, but it does, you can still see the shadow of it. Okay, let's try to let this dry down a little bit. We're going to take a peek at what this is. This is the Quick Fix Body Correction. It comes in a stick. I'm gonna try covering up this one, our little hand. Let's see. First swipe. Oh. Okay, this is obviously not blended yet. Oh my goodness. What? Okay, let's blend that out. Okay, I mean, this one coat, first of all, the, the first swipe, I was very impressed, I have to say. Very, very impressed. Now, we're gonna go in with a second coat and I'm just going to, because technically the idea of this one is that it's supposed to be quick fix, like when you're out or traveling, you could just throw this in your bag and use it for whatever you need, right? So I'm going to blend this one out with just my fingers because if I'm traveling or if I'm out, I'm probably not gonna bring a whole beauty blender with me. So let's see how it goes that way. I mean, that's pretty good. That's pretty impressive. All right, let's take a dry beauty blender. Oh, it comes with its own little powder puff. It does say on here for two or more layers set with illuminating banana powder for at least 10 minutes before buffing off. While this is setting, I'm going to take another layer 
on the leg and body makeup. Okay, that's three coats. I am gonna let this one dry and then try again with one more coat to see if we can get it all the way covered. This one is also poking through a little bit, but I did only put two coats on this one. But until then, I figured we should probably get started on doing some stuff. I have some really awesome plans today. I'm super excited about, plan on putting some temporary tattoos on my face. It's gonna be really awesome. I'm super stoked. So let's get started. I'm going to just like get some ideas first. And then I'll come back, let you know what I've got, what's up my sleeve. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Okay, we're back. This is what we've got. It's little guys on my face. These are little stickers. They're temporary tattoos. I'm super excited. They put some little freckles everywhere. It's gonna be great. Okay, so what we did, this brush. I used this tiny little brush to pick up. This is our Lime Prime Venus 3 palette. Heck yes. And we're gonna pick up this color called Beam. Actually, did I use this brush? I don't think I did. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna now. And I'm just putting this all over the lid. Full disclosure, switching to this brush. Okay, then big fluffy brush to buff out the sparkles on top. You could definitely wait until you're done with all of your glitters before you do that part, but we're going now into, this is our ColourPop Cosmetics La Belle of the Ball palette, and we're picking up, this is called Abbey Sisters. It's this top left-hand corner, it's this beautiful shimmer, and we're not even gonna put like glitter glue or glitter primer down, we're just gonna slap this on and see what happens. Another thing that I forgot to mention that I did was take this Urban Decay liner and just put this in my waterline. This is Yayo. Yeah Yo. We're going to now go into this Morphe Mickey and Friends Truth Be Bold palette. And I took that same brush that's got some glitter on it. We took this color called Stunning Games and we put that right underneath our bottom waterline. And then you take the same big fluffy brush and you buff out that bottom line. The one thing that you'll notice with this Morphe palette if you do end up using it, or the majority of the Morphe palettes that I've worked with, I should say, um, is that they blend away into basically nothing. So you have to be really careful and really intentional when you're blending these palettes. I did end up using my Inglot Dura, Duraline mixing agent in order to make this eyeliner and it's going to be that same color that we just used i think it's called stunning games and i also used a purple it's this pastel purple in this palette called ah good start off with one drop see where that gets you if you need more after that then you can always add So to move on from this, we're going to be using, um, same idea, we're just going to be outlining the top of this with that purple color that we just made. Then on the top of this, I actually just extended the purple out a little further than the blue. And I did not follow my own cardinal rule. I opened my eyelid a little too wide while this was still wet. If you want at this point, you can go back and just touch up any of the blue that your purple went over, but realistically, this is, this is the eye. This is the eye. 
I don't know how I feel about it yet. We're just gonna kind of roll with the punches. Oh, maybe I could do something. Who knows? All right, I'll get there. I haven't decided if we're done with this or not. I'm gonna go let this, my eyelids dry and I'll be right back. <sighs> Starting to get tired. You know what time it is. I already broke into it. I'm so sorry I didn't wait for you, but it's time. Cheers. This is your formal invitation. If you'd like to, you're more than welcome to take a sip on your own. If you are waiting for me, I will stop talking and let us go. It is now all over my face. However, I'd like to remind everyone here how beautiful and special and intelligent and compassionate we are, how resilient and how brave we are, how thoughtful and how caring and how genuine we all are, how authentically ourselves we are. I'd like to remind you how inspirational you are, how you're someone's favorite person somewhere. I'd like to remind you that you're going to do great things. And those great things are going to be great for you. No matter who else they're great for, the only thing that matters is that it's great for you. We're going to take a moment. We're going to take a moment. We're going to reflect for a second about how incredible we are, how strong we are. How everything that we've been through has made us the person today and how we learn every day who we want to be. And how as long as you're working towards being that person that you'd like to be, you're doing something well for yourself. So let's take a couple deep breaths. We're going to start and we're going to inhale in three, two, one. That was really nice, but I think we're going to do it again in three, two, one. And with that last breath, breath, with that last breath out, release everything that you've been holding on to all week, all of the negative, anything that you have spent too much energy on. Just breathe it out with that last breath. Let your shoulders fall. Let your muscles relax. I bet that feels really nice. Take another sip if you need. Maybe nibble on your snack if you brought one today. And we're gonna get started on the next step of our journey. So take a moment, wrap up whatever you need to. As soon as I meet you back here, we'll be ready and moving on to the next part. Are you excited? I'm excited. I have one more surprise for you that I'm super excited for. So here we go. See you soon. My lips. And hear me out. I always do a nude lip. Which there is nothing, there's nothing, nothing wrong with that. Love a good nude lip. But today I'm feeling a little spicy. We are going to go in with our NYX Suede Shade Matte Lipstick in Ace. And we're gonna just put this on the center of our lips. Okay, so I used a lot of my fingers for that. I am just going to deepen the very, very center of this. And you know what, we may end up hating this and starting over, but that's okay. Now this part doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to go over it with our Fenty Beauty. This is the Gloss Bomb Heat, so it's also going to plump our lips. I don't want to ruin this doe foot or the color on the inside, so I am going to take a brush. We're going to put this right over the lipstick we just put down. That's what I need to do. Maybe I need to take the blue. Oh, maybe I need to take the blue off the outside of my lips and only have it in the center. Actually, not bad. Okay. All right. So we're going to leave it like this. If I decide to change my mind later, 
it happens, right? I mean, it wouldn't be surprising. So what's next you may be asking? Oh, there's a plenty next. There is, we have to finish with highlighter. And maybe there isn't a lot left because lashes is what's left. So this may be the moment right now where we say goodbye to each other for a couple minutes. We wrap up what we're working on. We come back together in a few and then we talk about everything that we were able to accomplish today. I'm super excited. I can't wait to see. I can't wait to see what you've been working on. I can't wait to see what you're looking like. I don't know what you were doing with yourself, but I'm super excited to find out. So without further ado, let's go get wrapped up so we can get this grand reveal on the road. I'll see you soon. Bye. Hi friends and welcome back. Okay, I had a couple of surprises up my sleeve for you guys today and I'm also not topless. I am wearing clothes. Just, you yeah, can't see them. Anyway, so long story short, what did we end up doing after we took off from each other, right? So these are Kiss Lashes. I just got a bunch of brand new pairs of them. I'm super stoked about it. Product Red Lash Couture Triple Push-Up Collection, and they were called Teddy. So I think they were like seven bucks. Really not bad. Look at that beauty. We all know it's not a secret now that I'm obsessed with Kiss Lashes. Kiss lashes um favorite drugstore lash ever and they've been like stepping up their game a lot the last couple of years so i'm super appreciative of them we also threw on some artist couture highlighter that was no big deal the most important part the stars of the show today look at these 3d butterflies they're about to pack their things and fly away and we broke out the ears. These are my Amazon ears and that's that's everything. That's basically everything that we did. So thank you so much for coming on this journey with me. I'm super stoked about how this turned out. It's perfect. It's beautiful. I love it. I'm so excited that I did this. Um, the only thing that I'll say is that the under eyes basically gone. That was again, that was the Morphe Mickey and Friends palette. Um, Full disclosure, I didn't spray my face again with setting spray after I um, did my eyes. Typically I don't though, so that shouldn't have affected it. But the blue that we kind of smoked out underneath the eyes, it's kind of here on this eye, basically gone on this eye. Thank you again so much for joining me today. I can't wait to see what you have in store for me. I'd love to see what you've been working on. And thank you so much for keeping me company today. I can't even tell you how it how much it means to me to know that I've got a friend by my side through the worst of days, through the best of days, and you'll be there for me anytime we need to de-stress together. Anytime we need to drink some water, if you haven't finished it, maybe now's a good time. Um, or even just like eat a snack together. I love you so much. I can't wait until next week. You know, this part of the week is always my favorite because we get to kick it off on such a good foot. But until next time, I'll see you then. Bye friends.